Was euch geht, doch kein Verstell. Am Tiro, am Diakoi, wir wollen alle hoch, was so gut tun. Die Woche ist der Fahrt, geben uns da. Uns machen heilig aus, uns sind ledig zu machen von dem kleinen Welt. Am Tiro, am Diakoi, wir wollen alle hoch, was so gut tun. Die Woche ist der Fahrt, geben uns da. Uns machen heilig aus, uns sind ledig zu machen von dem kleinen Welt. Am Tiro, am Diakoi, wir wollen alle hoch, was so gut tun. Then the Shabbos comes again, and I will live. Alle Pizzen sind geschehen, sei groß und sei klein. Die Kopf ist wird bei jedem Regen, an meinen Streben. An meinen ist schon mehr, es kommt zum Gehen. Die Woche ist doch viel mit Bedrohs. Und schau, bis kommt dich, bis die Ball am Bus. Wie am Melech, als Oi, und am Auge die Freude. Mit Heuchen gefielen, kämen dann spielen. Dem Chilik bin dem Yid und dem Goy Man hat sein Tazin, sehen jeden Kind Die Schenkheit von ihm, die Hochme von dem Oh, dem Basche verfreit sich mit dem Der Fahrer, wenn die Schammes geht da weg Laut mir nicht so, man verstellt ihr den Weg Im Bett sei noch du, etlich ist schon Wir machen das Sied, wir machen gar Gitte. Wir sind jetzt für den Himmel, wir laufen mal gern. Wir kommen zu gehen, da bin ich nicht sicher. Kohl zu holen, es gibt schon in die Show. Elio wird im Sorgen, Moschiach ist da. Und danke, wenn Moschiach wird sein, wird die ganze Woche sein, schau, bis dich fein. Gießt mir ein Reih, ein bisschen Lewein, Lechaim, ma gute Woche soll uns sein. A gute Woche, everybody. A gute Woche, a gute Woche to all the viewers and all the people that oh, yeah. will review it. First of all, thank you very much for waiting this long for our show this season, um, but it's worth waiting for. We got Levi Felkowitz in the house and it really took a long time to, get in, to agree to come here, all the way from Monroe. Um, so, a gute Woche. And we'd like to thank all our viewers and wish them a good avoch from COL, from Gruntig, Vasis Nayis, Matziv, and Kikara Shabbat, Kola Mazinim, Toda Lachem, and from Tippet. Um, and we were actually here in Flow Motion Studios um, by Yankee Tarabam and Bracha Tornheim. So we thank you guys very much for hosting us. Um, we really appreciate it. Uh, let's go. What do you have in mind? Uh, a lot First of, of all, good avoch. Shalom Aleichem. <laughs> Like We've known sure. each other for a while, yes. but yes. Uh, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> What's amazing is that when Levi sings, and we, we've done actually a good talk with many singers that were here, but you do, you do it with the echte Yiddish. And I, that's, 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 really the, that's the challenge, huh? coming from Yiddish, like Satman Yiddish, and do it kind of like what, um, Galatianish? No. no, the way you sang it is it's, perfect. It's that's the way we like Yiddish. it. That's the, really the real Yiddish. That's how we enjoy it. So I really appreciate it. There's always another twist. You know, every singer adds their thing. 
Um, so, you know the history of this song? Uh, a little bit? Yeah. What, what, tell me this about it. Yes. It's actually the tune was made by Fried. Avram Fried. I think so. Wow. And the words, the first line, he, he, he went over to... Um, oh, gosh. I think it was Yom Tev Erlich. Yom Tev Erlich, makes sense. The way and it's written, yeah, it so the sounds, first line, he went Yantavela. to him just to ask him for lyrics. And um, so he made him the first line. And after that, he said, okay, I got it from here. I'll do it myself. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. So the rest of the lyrics is actually by Avram himself, which is really, really beautiful. I didn't know that. But the beauty of, of Yom Tevelech, I think when, when it came to write uh, the lyrics, he had, a way, he had a beautiful way of writing a story and everything was like rhyming and it didn't make you feel like you're listening to rhymes. You're like, you're listening to a beautiful the real song. story, yeah. But, but it, it's all rhyming and everything is like in place. So, uh, organic. Organic. Yeah, right off. You know. Pure talent. Um, should we do a song from Yon Yeah. What do you have in mind? Here we go. Um, Which song? Give me a D minor. The Natur. Yeah. Should I do it in, in Yantavela Yiddish or, or yeah. Heimish Yiddish? Heimish Yiddish. The way Heimish you Yiddish. Is really good. And okay, if I'll, it's easier I'll for keep you. going back and forth. <laughs> Did you listen to growing up? Oh, 
First of all, what got you into this whole, uh, into the music scene? I think what we listen to defines us uh, as far as art, uh, what, what we sound like later on. That's true. So. Um, there's so much, there's so much. Uh, first of all, I grew up listening to Jan Tevelich a lot, a lot. And um, those kept me coming back to the Yiddish tunes. And um, then later on, I, I started listening to MBD, Versteitzich. Uh, um, a lot of Avram Fried, um, some of Moshe Goldman, the, the few years when I was, I think, 10, 11, 12, and 13 was um, a few solid albums. Um, and then, you know, everything. Daddy, Daddy was uh, a strong lot of fun. then. Yeah. Um, there was so much going on over there. Wow. So let's start with, uh, so we did, we covered Yom Tevelich already. Yeah. We could do uh, MVD. What do we got? What do we Your do? choice. Uh, let's do a Yiddish song. I, I really like the way you sing Yiddish, so. Well, which, one, which one are you choosing? Uh, Give me a, a, a D sharp minor. This song is especially um, close to me. Habait. Oh, yeah? Um, my mother... Um, when she was younger, she wrote down by hand, and she was a first class in Satmar after the, the war. So everything was like a very small community, and the songs she heard at home, she wrote down by hand in a book. We still have that book. Wow. It's, this is before old. lyrics were printed out. Yeah, it's like 20, uh, it's what, my mother was, yeah. Uh, it's, it's about 50 years old, that book. It's crumbling, but that song, she, she, she used to bring out the book by the Shabbos meal and sing from that book. So this, this was one of, that, one of those songs. Wow. So that, that song has a lot of meaning. Man 
So when you sing these songs, first of all, you capture the whole, the mood of the song, the neshama of the song, and you, and you bring it on a golden platter because the technique that you have is superb, and you have a huge, huge voice and huge personality, and everything just shines in the song. I appreciate that's, that. Thank you. That's what people like about a singer, you know, because some singers, they're born with a smaller voice, a bigger voice. The, 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 usually the big voices, they're, they're more grub. They're not so, so refined and so idle. To refine, it's, and it's, it's a lot of... <laughs> I know, but it's amazing to hear. That's when you sing the Yiddish, and you sing it with such a Hamish Yiddish. Hamish Yiddish. So it's, it really, really touches the heart. How about we do an upbeat song? Uh, we could, sure. What do you got in mind? Um, we can do the one from my first album, Viazza. I think uh, that would wake up people. <laughs> well, we're going to get there. A lot of people like the slow songs, people like the fast songs, and that's why we always make a balance. Some people like more talking, some people like more singing. Um, I personally like when it's quiet. <laughs> totally <laughs> quiet. Yeah, sometimes, you know, we need to balance it out, especially you do weddings all the time. Um, okay. I actually didn't play this song before. Uh, but I think I got So let's right do thing. practice and then for yeah, real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On a C minor, or should we take it down? Yeah, C minor is good. I'm gonna get up for that. Mm. No, that's not the right beat. Here we go. Yeah, it's a good beat. I be. 
Oh 
soon guys <laughs> we didn't do this um, people want to know people are asking more they want to hear more about you about you how you started your career how did you get into the music scene I've been singing for 11 years now and uh, honestly it's way too long of a, of a story but I'll, I'll, I'll touch the highlights you can tell us we have enough time <laughs> take your time the people have want to hear It was literally for me a road trip to see how I glided into this business. It was kind of like um, the way that Hashem wanted me to, 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 to end up in this business. Um, when I was younger, when I was younger, my brother was the singer in the family. 
Yoeli. Yes, I have a brother Yoeli. I missed him too, don't worry. <laughs> One week we're going to have him too. And yet Hashem is a great, phenomenal yes. singer. And I watched him sing all the time and practice and, 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 and he had this little boombox with, with the, the mic and it had a reverb, the old fashioned echo. Yeah. And he used to sing along with his album and I watched him be the singer and, and, and as I grew up, it caught on. I kind of listened to everything he listened to and I started listening to a lot of different albums that he didn't cover. Uh, later on in Yeshiva, um, I went to Israel in the Mir Yeshiva and in my apartment there was a guy, his name was uh, Bachar, he was playing the guitar, Nachman Dreyer. And he introduced me to a lot of interesting things in music, I introduced him to stuff that I listened to and it was a good friendship. Um, he was playing at that time in the in the Moishi Road um, Orchestra. The, today it's called Monagnum, I think. Yeah. And uh, he told me, I want you to meet Moishi. And uh, we ended up meeting and he put me on a couple of albums that was pending then. Um, one is, I think, the Satmar album. Then Ruvi Banet was there and he also put me on an album that was before I even got engaged. So by the time I was already married, I was already on four different albums wow. here and there so so it kind of like happened then later on um, because I was in Monroe uh, Mandy Hershkowitz from Freilich Den called me up and he's like we're looking for a frontman a singer an official singer to team up with us and uh, he offered me to be that, that person so I took the the challenge I, I, I don't think if if I, I did four or five weddings before that. But it all, it started out to Bislach, you know, one, one gig after another. And um, then a clip here, a clip there, you know, the, it was an interesting um, journey. Later on, um, I started doing my own thing and this business became the business that I do When today. did you see, at what point did you see that it's actually like getting serious and you have to, like you started training and you started like really, I started training right away um, because I'm a big believer in vocals. I, I'm a big believer that the sound should be maximized and the, the most healthy possible and, and the range. And because I have that big of a voice, it's a difficult voice. It doesn't always work with me. It's called a truck, a to, truck voice. Yeah, I have to pamper it a lot. So I had to train right away because if I wouldn't, I would probably not sound the best. So. Uh, Thank you. So um, I started training right away. Um, I was still a chassan then. You went to the one teacher. One teacher. My brother Yoeli told me, go to him. Cantor Einhorn. And that's mm -hmm. where... Wow, so Yoeli went in before you. Yoeli went, I think, five or six years before me. Wow. Yeah. And Yoeli sounds phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's at least you know you have guidance. You have... You know, you didn't have yeah, to guess yeah. and say this. You're already, after six years, you know already that's a good teacher. Well, I've been there for now almost 12 years. Wow. And, um, and how often do you train about? Enough. <laughs> enough to cover all the basics and then wow. some. Um, well, you should know we hear it in the voice because in general, the, I mean, people know, the bigger the voice is, the more, you know, tough it is to get <coughs> it in line. It needs a lot of polish. It needs a lot of work. and. Uh, Mainly a lot of love. Wow. If you give love to the boys, the boys will give you the biggest sound you, you, you're looking for. Wow. But you have to nurture it and, 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 and work with it. And the results. Uh, the results we see. We yeah. see it and we hear it. You should know I see Levy a few times actually by the canter. And um, I go there just to, you know, to scout out the singers and to try to convince them to come here. In the middle, I also study well, myself. That, that's how we met. So, <laughs> yeah, so Baruch Hashem for that. Is there any other kind of music they sing? Sfardi music or anybody else that, uh, you know, as a child that you listen to? I've, I've, I've listened to a lot of um, Chaim Yisrael. I've listened to a lot of Joe Amar. Not enough to say that I'm, I'm, I, I'm a Sephardic singer, but I can, I you can, can navigate the lines. This is my favorite Joe. The truth is, I actually played with Joe Amar once. Yeah. You did? When I was really young. I mean, really young. I was 18 years old. Uh, actually, no. 
Yeah, just about that. Uh, so in the yeah, phenomenal the sound and, and, and amazing, beautiful expressions um, yeah. and, and, ab and above it all, beautiful songs. Yeah. Which one do you have in mind? His famous one, the one that we know, the Ashkenazi, we know one famous song of his that we know how to do. If there's any Sephardic listeners, don't hit me if I get it right or wrong. Still a chusim. Ve, 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 ve,
Friday stuff, I love when you just let go and have a great time. You really know how to let loose. Oh, I wish. <laughs> you know the song, Ben Adam? Yeah, let's go. He'll teach it to me. It's mm, a good D-minor. Ben Adam Alel Malale Alel Malale Ben Adam Alel Malale Alleluia, <laughs>
seconds of that, of that clip? Can we show it? I think we should show that clip. Sure. It's worth it. The song was composed with uh, by Peniel Streicher. Well, he composed the song? We sat together. That's we figured nice. That out. Penny, good job. <laughs> wow, that's Penny, really, really watching. nice. Whose idea was it, that kind of clip? I know it was like an interesting kind of setting. Very Hamish. Um, I, the, first of all, the history of the song. Um, after we composed the song, I, I, I composed part A, he composed part B yeah. and C. Um, he went into studio, created kind of like a small demo. And he told me, Levy, I got music for it. Go into studio, do, do vocals. So we did kind of like a bounce, like a, like a basic demo. And recorded it, and it sounded just perfect. We didn't want to walk away from that, but we, we had to record it with, re with, with real music. So we ended up giving it to Dickman, Yoli Dickman from Israel. And he basically built everything up on, above the track. So everything was playing and the drums was kind of like copying the track. The guitar was like playing on my vocals and everything. And, wow. and slowly we, we peeled the demo off and the, the real music was laying all laid out, beautiful. Mom is copying to the team. Wow. Because a lot of times you see that sometimes the first take is the golden take. Golden and, take, and, and we left the original vocals. Nothing was changed. Like, we, we just had to record music. Wow. It's, you would never guess. And then, uh, when it was done, and the album was out, I told Penny, we got to do something that gives the people the feel of what we had what you when, when writing the song and, 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 and building the music. So that's the results. Wow. That's gorgeous. Do we have that video here? <laughs> Shabbos, Imamad, 
song that's similar to that one not like similar in style from MBD When you sing MBD, a lot of times people sing a singer, so they get into the like in the image and they get into the character of, of the singer, and then sometimes they they start like imitating the voice. Here you you keeping your own voice, you keeping strong. So so influence can can go both ways. Yeah, but you you have his his uh, his image. The the image, the image is okay, but when you start sounding like him, that's a problem. Yeah, yeah. but here you you captured everything. So so how about we finish up with one with one, one great more? One. Give me a C minor someday. Okay, I'm gonna sing it slowly first. Bam, bam. Dum, 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 dee, da, dum, bam. We're gonna do it the way it's supposed to be. You know, by Simchus, we just like fly it off the high part. Okay. Can you hear me?
frigid cellar Alone, just a small group of men When in rushed the soldiers Led them all away But the flame of Tahita Flickered on the day mm, So many tears So much sorrow The pain has lasted For thousands of years But soon we'll stop crying Someday we will all be together Someday we'll be sheltered and warm Never will we have to And their wounds will disappear. I'm rolling its heart. We'll be there to greet us. Yaakov and his sons will stand by us. Everybody, we're gonna do one more song. There's a lot going on here. I know a lot of people are watching and a lot of people are requesting. The you want to cover I, some of them? <laughs> I started the show and I didn't have my phone with me. And usually I have my phone with me and I could see the requests. So we got, we got, we got a couple of good ones. Adama. That's a good one. Adama veshamayim. Let's do that. How about we do kind of like, not, not, the, not without a beat, just like, like oh, yeah? unplugged. Okay. Let me see, let me see if I can put in some juice. A minor. Adama Veshamayim Chomaesh Zilamayim Ani Margish Zod Bigufi Veruchi Benishmati Adama Veshamayim Choma Esh Tilamayim Ani Margish Zog Begufi 
ורוחי ונשמתי. Guys, you knows? have it now. Who knows? Yeah, Who singers knows? in the time got, of, you know, when you're singing back to back, isn't just impossible. That's why most of the times singers record their albums, people don't know. <laughs> yeah. During Spiro, during the nine days. When we get to shut up a little bit. Um, there's, uh, I'm looking through the requests. You want to do Malachal for my album? You know it? Okay. I can teach it to you. It's a very, Please do. It's, a very it's a very beautiful song. It's a lullaby. So it's, uh, give me a D minor. You know the song. Ah, yeah, sure. You know the song. Yeah. Okay, this, it's the same composer. It's the same family. It's the same oh, okay. vibe. Mm. So give me something that goes like it. Hold on, we're trying to figure like, this like out, Kevin. Almost like oh, okay, fine, so I know mm -hmm. it. Regular. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe I don't have such a beat on here. So for the non-Giddish uh, speaking people, um, the words of the second part a little slower. Um, so. The words of the second part is God zeldi shikna malachal. God should send you an angel. A malachal was hiti rai begu. A malachal that 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 um, watches over you. watches over you and 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 guards on you. Bis noch klein, you're still small. Bis noch klein. Gest agavain, you cry. Kept er zegain, he comes. Let's just start. A one, two, three. Amalachago, yeah, you're a little bit of 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 a little b
Nach dem Geist schlafen, ja? <laughs> yeah, they, say, they always say yes, you know. It's late, it's almost 11. Well, Tati's singing. Nobody goes to sleep when Tati's singing. <laughs> finish it and uh, the concept of everything but he told me I have a, I have a friend here a cipher he went in and took all these close-ups gorgeous gorgeous Bam was gorgeous so the video was done actually here in Crown Heights most of it Wow <coughs> most of it were you in Crown Heights um, since then what? <laughs> were you in Crown Heights since then? I'm now. I know, I know. Well, this is an isolated location somewhere in uh, where in New Zealand right <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Um, there's a song that keeps getting requested over and over again, and I think we'll we'll finish with that. Okay, sure. You know the song Davenin? Um, what key is it? F minor. Davenin? Oh, so Avrami G is asking to do, to, to play as a malach in his arrangement. Uh, well, uh, Remy, if you're watching this, please come over and I'll play it with your arrangement. Uh, he did the arrangement for this song? Yes. Oh, so he you see, this, more this whole thing is, is, is way know. more Chabad than the you think. The truth is that when you sang it, I figured that it's probably a swing, right? It's, it's a film. Mm. Yeah, that's but it's a very soft with brushes. Very, uh, very, done very beautifully. Uh, where are you musicians? Was he was he on one of your shows? I think with Lemmer once. Yeah, with Yankee Lemmer. I think that, that was gorgeous. That was gorgeous. Very good idea. If we do it again, maybe we'll invite uh, Remy. Sure, anytime. Um, so this is kind of like a, a disco, mm, a slow disco. What speed? The same disco I've been using. 
Pasha Shemais, it was like more depressing show uh, Shabbos, you know. But now we would like to thank all our listeners and we wish you a good Gebench Tavach ahead, a happy Vach, Pasha Shemais already, good things happening. And we would like to thank again COL Live, Gruntik, Vasiznayis, Matzah, Matzah.com, Kikara Shabbat, and Tidbits, and of course, Flow Motions for hosting us. And Lady Falkowitz for coming and being a Hannah so much. It was a oh, long time we waited for you, but you made it worth it. It was really, really nice. Thank you for having me we'll and for hosting this beautiful one concept. One more, song, one more song? Which one? Tanya? Yeah. Okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> 
A good work, everybody. A good work. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned. We'll be back again. Good work.